I'm monetized. I was first to monetize for repetitious content. I appealed and was successful. I was then to monetize for reuse. I appealed and was successful again. I'm gonna show you both appeal videos in their entirety. Use the chapters to jump ahead, but first some tips. Number one, show your face. They wanna see a real person behind your videos, especially now audio generation is becoming so advanced. Appeal videos are unlisted anyway, so it doesn't matter if you're worried about showing your face to your subscribers. Number two, use chapters and don't ramble. Even though appeals must be under five minutes, they probably won't watch it all start to finish. They have lots of appeals to go through and they need to find what they're after quickly. Number three, use the chapters I did in my appeals and you should have all bases covered. Here are my appeals. Hi, my channel is youtube.com slash jigsaw and this is my appeal video. I will start with an overview of my channel. I will then show my setup and I will then show how I edit some of my videos. I have 15 videos on my channel, 14 of which have a face cam and original commentary. The last one I consider a piece of art and it took me over a month to make. As this is by far the most viewed video on this channel, I will discuss it in depth at this timestamp. Of my 14 face cam videos, three are gameplay with commentary directly linked to the game, two are tutorials, two are advice, two are about my problems, two are about the channel as a whole, two are general entertainment, and one is a behind the scenes look at art I have made for my other channels. As you can see, there is a huge variety. These videos are not auto-generated or mass-produced as my original speech and face are throughout all 14 of these videos. Next, my setup. For my face cam, I use a phone mounted to my desk with a plug-in microphone. I work at this computer. I record my screen for gameplay and tutorials using OBS. I take video and photo on my phone and edit on Vegas Pro. I will now show how I edited these videos because I believe they give a good representation of my channel. Use the timestamps to jump ahead. I found Commander Keen 4 on this website and practiced playing it several times. Once I was happy with my ability, I recorded my gameplay and my face cam at the same time. Here are my two gameplay screen recordings and here are my two face cam recordings. I then chose the best recording. I imported the gameplay and the face cam into Vegas Pro and synced them. I then moved my face cam to the bottom right corner and applied this black and white effect. I then rendered the video and put the resulting file into another Vegas document where I then cut out all the boring bits of the video. With my Gumtree video, again, I took a screen recording and a face cam and I imported them into Vegas Pro and I cut out all the silent and boring bits, but I also made sure to mark out any identifying information of the people I was talking about. For my mildly interesting video, I took a bunch of photos that were taken by me, imported them into Vegas Pro, applied zooms when appropriate, and reacted to them using my face cam. I also included background music that is fully licensed from my subscription to Envato Elements. Finally, this video. First, with my Shutterstock subscription, I searched for number of images and decided on 10 font categories. Within each font category, for example food, I found 10 fonts. I then downloaded 10 digits for every font. Once I downloaded an image, for example this 5, I had to remove the background in either Photoshop or Illustrator. Once I had the 10 digits on a transparent background, I imported them into Vegas Pro and arranged them into a number sequence. I then rendered the file with a transparent background and imported it into another Vegas file with the other font video segments. At this point, I resized and centered each font. I then made a border for each font category in Photoshop. Each section of the border comprised of a mini border and a background and the font itself. The border also contained the font category which was made up of more cutout images. I did this for each font category and then combined the results into one master video. I also added backgrounds and other effects with fully licensed material. To make this video, I transformed hundreds of Shutterstock images into something substantially different. I will now talk about AdSense program policies in relation to my channel. As my face cam videos obviously comply, I will concentrate on my font video. In your example of what's allowed to be monetized, you say short clips of similar objects edited together where you explain how they're connected. Well, I've edited together images that only appear for a short amount of time each and I explain how they're connected in the title. But even if you still weren't convinced about this one video, your documentation states, for repetitious content, this policy applies to your channel as a whole. In other words, if you have many videos that violate our guidelines, monetization may be removed from your entire channel. So even if you doubted this one video, the rest of this channel is fine, so I should still be approved for the partner program. 
In conclusion, I hope you can see that not one of my videos is auto-generated and I have a variety of videos on my channel. Therefore, I believe I should be allowed to be monetized again. Also, please, 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 please. Hi, my channel is youtube.com slash Jigsaw and this is my appeal video. I will start with an overview of my channel and how I believe its content falls under the do column of your reused content policy. I will then show my setup and I will then show how I edit some of my videos. I have 15 videos on my channel, 14 of which have a face cam and original commentary. The remaining one is my most viewed video, so I will talk about why it complies here and how I edited it here. 13 of my 14 face cam videos use either screen recordings or gameplay recorded by me or original photos or video recorded by me, so this cannot possibly be considered reuse. Please see the setup and edit sections of this video for proof these are original works. The remaining face cam video uses licensed stock material from Envato Elements to support jokes I wrote myself. This falls under a funny or thoughtful revision of content you didn't originally create. Finally, this video. All material has been fully licensed, however I know that is not enough, so let me explain the transformation I have made to these images. In your policy of what is allowed to monetize, you state, we allow reused content if viewers can tell there is a meaningful difference between the original video and your video. My video represents a meaningful sequence rather than just a collection of random images. Millions of people who find utility in my video would barely enjoy looking at unorganized and unedited Shutterstock images of numbers. The other components that may have been considered reused, such as licensed stock videos around the borders, have been irreversibly blurred out. Next, my setup. For my face cam, I use a phone mounted to my desk with a plug-in microphone. I work at this computer. I record my screen for gameplay and tutorials using OBS. I take video and photo on my phone and edit on Vegas Pro. I will now show how I edited these videos because I believe they give a good representation of my channel. Use the timestamps to jump ahead. I found Commander Keen 4 on this website and practiced playing it several times. Once I was happy with my ability, I recorded my gameplay and my face cam at the same time. Here are my two gameplay screen recordings and here are my two face cam recordings. I then chose the best recording. I imported the gameplay and the face cam into Vegas Pro and synced them. I then moved my face cam to the bottom right corner and applied this black and white effect. I then rendered the video and put the resulting file into another Vegas document where I then cut out all the boring bits of the video. With my Gumtree video, again, I took a screen recording and a face cam and I imported them into Vegas Pro and I cut out all the silent and boring bits but I also made sure to mark out any identifying information of the people I was talking about. For my mildly interesting video, I took a bunch of photos that were taken by me, imported them into Vegas Pro, applied zooms when appropriate, and reacted to them using my face cam. I also included background music that is fully licensed from my subscription to Envato Elements. Finally, this video. First, with my Shutterstock subscription, I searched for number images and decided on 10 font categories. Within each font category, for example food, I found 10 fonts. I then downloaded 10 digits for every font. Once I downloaded an image, for example this 5, I had to remove the background in either Photoshop or Illustrator. Once I had the 10 digits on a transparent background, I imported them into Vegas Pro and arranged them into a number sequence. I then rendered the file with a transparent background and imported it into another Vegas file with the other font video segments. At this point, I resized and centered each font. I then made a border for each font category in Photoshop. Each section of the border comprised of a mini border and a background and the font itself. The border also contained the font category which was made up of more cutout images. I did this for each font category and then combined the results into one master video. Finally, my ideas. Ideas for face cam videos came from photos accumulated in my phone, jokes I had written down over the years, and things I was interested in at the time. The number video idea came from exploring Shutterstock and seeing many beautiful font designs that I had never seen before, and I doubt many others had either. I decided numbers would be a great way to turn images into a video and bring them to life, so to speak. My research showed that there were no other video like this online. In conclusion, while there are some licensed images and videos on my channel, I use them transformatively and in adherence with YouTube Partner Program policies. Therefore, I believe I should be remonetized. Thank you.